at some patterns that we can look for when we do a little bit of noticing and wondering when we're having and doubling. And so I have this structure here. And let me grab my, here we go. And we have three times two, this right here, times two times two. So we have three times two, which is six, times two, which is 12, times two, which is 24. So we've doubled, doubled, and doubled. Now we're going to look at what happens when we have them. So we're going to take one of our factors out and move it to the side, and now we have 12. That's what we have these factors over here all together. Three times two times two equals 12. And we pulled out one of the two, so we halved this. I'll get my spotlight back. We have this one over here, and we brought a two over here. Now what's gonna happen when I have this again? I'm going to move the two over, and we will see here we have six, and over here we have four. And let's notice here a little bit. So right here, we took a two out, so we halved this factor on this side. But when we moved the red rod from here, from this factor pile over here, to this factor pile over here, this two became four. So this one, well, one halved, the other doubled. Let's see if that stays true, and let's do it again. So we move this two over. We're gonna take the two from this factor pile, and we moved it to this factor pile, and we notice that this six is no longer six, it's a three. And this four over here, two times two, which was four, times two again is now eight. So we have three over this side and eight over here. And we notice that when we, we moved it, we halved this one, this side over here, doubles. Could we do this with larger numbers? Um, so can we use this whole idea to make multiplication easier? That's the question.